Um, I'm Anna. Welcome if you've been watching every day. Or, welcome back if you've been watching every day. Welcome if you haven't. Today we let ourselves sleep in because we just got back from New York last night. And we were being just crazy. Like, we just did not sleep. We were up late so many nights. So I let myself sleep until like 10, 10.30. Got up, made my bed. Um, first plan of the day is to go on my run because I've been off my running schedule. Why is this? I've watched it. But I think today I'm going to switch back from Strava back to Nike Run Club app because, like, the Strava one, it wants you to run, like, it gives you a range. It's like Monday, 15 minutes, Tuesday, hour to hour 30, Wednesday, hour to hour 20, Thursday, 40 to hour. I'm like, that's too much range. Like, I just need somebody to tell me what to do. And I feel like that's just, like, long runs the whole time. So I'm going back to Nike Run Club because they have the guided runs. The only thing I liked about Strava is it maps your runs, but you can still use that. Like, I can go look and map my run. And then still use the Nike Run Club app just so I can, like, get their running routes and stuff. But that's the plan. And then get that run in. And then I'm going to go to Baba's on Canon because I have a lot of Vlogmas editing to do. And plan my week. And then I think I need to definitely want to get my eyebrows waxed. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store and get a couple things. I think I have enough to cook dinner tonight, but I just want to make sure... I have enough and then I'm gonna come back unpack and like briefly clean not intense maybe I will deep clean I'm either gonna deep clean today or tomorrow because my room needs a good deep cleaning I definitely at least want to unpack when I get back today all right so let's go I need to get packages when I come back too <laughs> More rice or sweet potatoes. No, the rice will be good for tonight's dinner. I have veggies. I might get a sweet potato just to have. I need like lunch recipes. Like I don't know lunch recipes. Like I definitely need hello yogurt. Oh, and milk. Milk is the main thing I need. So not that much because like we're also leaving again. That gets so much hello ash. I'm just gonna drop my stuff in my car first and then go on my run. Oh my God, with this I'm also all pink with my tumbler or yeah uh stanley hey guys so real quickly i just want to thank the sponsor of this video it is lumi so lumi deodorant mm -hmm. has been one of my favorite deodorants because they just like it just empowers women so you can just feel comfortable because there's nothing worse than being outside and just stressing about like oh god i smell so i keep like these their products like all over like i remember for example they have these acidified deodorant wipes and i remember i would go to night shift and literally like after i showered i just wipe these all over just to make sure i smell good for my whole 12 hour shifts i'm also obsessed with their whole body deodorant for pits privates and beyond or the scent is minted cucumber which i have a different scent back there so i'm so excited to try this new scent it's a whole body deodorant so it's more than just for your armpits it's so you smell good all over it's clinically proven to provide 72 hours of odor control even on sensitive skin and it's aluminum free, which is so important. It stops body odor from happening in the first place. It stops the odor causing reaction that happens on our skin in the first place. So like you don't even get to that point smelling. So it's literally a pre-odorant, not a deodorant, which I think is so cool. It's like the nurse in me loves the science. It's also baking soda free and it's proven clinically safe for your skin. It was also created by a doctor slash OBGYN. So that's why you know it is safe and great for your skin. So some of their products here, this is the whole body deodorant, but this one's like an invisible cream if you want to do that. And I have a bunch of these tiny ones, which is good for travel of their body wash. 
which is really good for travel. And then this cleansing bar, which is good for soap in there. Like I said, the wipes. And then we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this one because I'm about to go to Pilates and I'm already like, it's just like clammy in here. And so it just glides on so smooth. And like, I just like it because I don't have to stress. Like I don't have to stress that people are selling me in a bad way, you know? It's super important. Lumi holiday bundles are up to 40% off. You plus spend $30 or more. Get $5 off for new and returning customers using code HIDE5. Plus free shipping. Last day to order to get the gifts by Christmas is December 16th. So make sure you order because these are like perfect stocking stuffers. Like so good, especially for my nurses out there. Like this really is good for that. It's great gifts for general everybody and all different ages. And a great last minute gift if you can't think. So use my code HIDE5. Click the link in the description. Go do it, you guys. I'm obsessed with you guys will be too. Back to the video. The Christmas is a magic day. I'll think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to Yes, I am on my way We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment wow. We did it. We did it. We're done. That was such a good feel-good run to get back into it So I'm confused because it said a speed run and so it's a 37 minute interval, right? And I knew I did five minute warm up, one minute at my mile pace, five minutes at my 5K pace, 10 minutes at my 10K pace, five minutes at my 5K pace, one mile at my one mile pace. I know I did that. So that adds up to 25, 26, 27. And then there was recovery intervals. But it says it was gonna be 37 minutes. But mine, mine was only 29 minutes, which I'm confused by in three miles. So how was it not 37 minutes, but I did all those intervals Maybe I like didn't pause it when she said to rest. I don't know. I'm so confused But whatever it was still a really good workout and my splits were really good because like at first I went slow and then oh I see so then I went slow then I recovered for a minute then I did the five minute at a ten minute pace ten minute at a ten minute pace So good. That was my warm-up That was my recovery that was my mile pace. This, my 10K pace. This is my recovery pace. This is supposed to be recovery, but I was sprinting because I wanted to get home and I wasn't close. And same with the end. This was my extra because I kept going after they stopped. So I'm really confused. Oh, I'm very happy with it. Now, let's go. Let's go get some coffee and some oats. Okay, I'm listening to Meg Maroney because this weekend I'm going to Charlotte with Liv and Kat live there. Kat's my friend who I know through Gretchen and I know through, I went on her Barstool podcast and now she lives in Charlotte with her boyfriend and my best friend Liv lives in Charlotte with her boyfriend. So we're going to see them this weekend. And Megan Maroney, which I kind of know her because she's from Georgia and we've been to influencing stuff together before. And she's so um, big now and it's so cool, but she's performing at Coyote Joe's. So we're going to that. I think I'm going to go at Friday to sleep over and get dinner too. So I'm trying to learn her music because I know some of the songs, but like not all of them. So I'm trying to like study up on that. But now we are here. I've never gotten a street parking spot on um, right in front of Baba's. Like there's this line where you can park and I've never been able to park there. I've always had to park in the parking lot for a different restaurant. And there's one right in front of the door. Like I'm about to step out of my car and walk in the door. That's never happened to me before. All right, let's go in. Wait for luck. Literally stunning right there. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. Okay. So good. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace and no one cares. Oh, yeah, back. I got so so much work done. I got so many videos done. I posted today's vlog miss, but I'm so tired. <sighs> um, now I'm going to go get my eyebrows done because they're way too long and bushy. Not ready for nails though, just eyebrows. And then we're gonna go to the store to get a couple things and then go home because I'm tired and I still need to do some things at home. Like a pack and clean. Also this can trickle into tomorrow. I'm like so off my days because like today feels like Monday, but really we traveled and got home on Monday, so today's Tuesday. 
so yeah. really good can y'all see them they're still a little bushy for my liking but i know i'm supposed to like my bushy eyebrows but i think they're pretty good i'm more cleaned up and she trimmed them oh, they still feel so long though oh no i need to tell like everyone's always scared to like touch my eyebrows and i need to just like tell them it's okay i want you to go shorter i want you to go thinner like are your eyebrows supposed to be this long I don't know. Let's go to the grocery store. Here's main things I need to get. Um, paper towels, hairspray, yogurt, milk. Um, possibly another dinner, but I think me and Mac are making our HelloFresh tonight. So, and then some kind of lunch food, because I don't have good lunch food. Okay, I'm gonna look in the grocery store and try to get stuff to make this tuna salad, because it looks easy and yummy. Teeter's Hall. So for lunch, I did find this stuff for that tuna thing. I got some romaine lettuce for it. This was, I didn't need this much celery, but it was the cheapest to buy it like that. I got two, I got three packs of this low sodium wild caught albacore white tuna. I've actually never bought and done stuff with tuna, but they suggested to use albacore. And I didn't know how much to get, but this seemed like so little. So I got three packs of it because I want it to like last a while. Oat milk, this is my favorite, it's Chiabani, and I'm pretty sure like a bunch of coffee shops use Chiabani. I got cilantro lime rice and long grain rice. It's, it's always good to have rice for like meals. Blackberries to snack on. Okay, I switched up my yogurts. Normally I get Chiabani, but I got Okios triple zero Greek yogurt, vanilla flavored. I hate Greek yogurt if it's not flavored. That's the other pack of tuna. I got a pair of towels, but I didn't want to carry too much, so I just got two packs spray because I lost mine in New York. Dijon, honey Dijon dressing for the tuna, parsley for the tuna, and an onion for the tuna. Total was $60. I feel like that's, again, I feel like I got nothing for $60. I really need to start shopping at Trader Joe's because it's way cheaper. Right, I took a TikTok break, but it's time to unpack and clean my room more. But let's look at the pretty sunset. I can't wait for it to be warm so I can just like sit out here, but we'll keep this open while we do stuff. Wait, first I should put this rug down out there. color rug I love it it could be a little longer but honestly like I like it because like with the patio like it makes the space like cozier and smaller I can't decide if I want the rug more under this guy or I like it like more like that so I sit here it looks so good and I guess more people will be using that area but yeah comment if I should scoot it over more or if it's good like that it's nice. we're gonna play some Megan Rogan music and Unpack the suitcase. Hopefully it won't take too long. It wasn't that long of a trip. So... Yes, every time the snow is falling down And it is cold outside we gather around the fire. Okay, we're almost done unpacking. We're just putting away the nitty gritty stuff. I want to show you guys because I'm putting away my medicine, but I got this pill cutter. I think pill cutter, please, that's the nursing in me. Pill organizer. So I'm gonna take my OCD meds and put one in each day of the week because, like, the worst part is when 
and I need to start taking vitamin gel. I need to. The worst is when like I think I take this, or if I'm not sure if I take it, I never take it because I get so scared of like double dosing. But then I miss a day if if I really didn't take it. So yeah. All right, rooms clean, suitcases unpacked, but it hasn't been like deep clean, so I'm just gonna like wipe the surfaces with Myers. I always get those. Those need some wiping. Fireplace, and no one cares about yesterday. the floor I vacuumed and wiped surfaces this is like the bin I keep for like Poshmark clothes I need to sell and then I put like my PJs and Squishmallow so they don't like stay on the bed or anything and then I gotta find a good spot for the mic but I lost like the little bubble thing and it's not in my suitcase so I'm confused but guys I just opened this somebody sent me a Keurig there's no note there's no anything it's just a Keurig and I'm so confused but it's sleigh but I might do it in like a Christmas giveaway because like I don't need a Keurig, I have like Nespresso, you know? Yeah, I was vacuuming and it's so hard to get these. Like I was like scrubbing the inside of the floorboard. I didn't do the outside because it's outside. I have to get the crevices with like a vacuum. I need to like mop in here, but that's gonna be a different day. Christmas lights are going. We have our outside lights on. Beautiful. Now we're gonna shower. Y'all, I can't tell if like something feels off or I don't know if it's, I've just been looking at it too long. But I know you just have three colors, so like blue, white, and then it should be either cream or the brown that I'm bringing in. I feel like, should I take away the cream? I ordered a cream chunky blanket to put under this to match the cream of those pillows, but should those pillows really be white? And then this be brown to match those? Let me know, or do you like the cream on the white? Because there is a white rug. But let's go kick, cook some dinner. So homey. So, oh wait, we gotta plug in all of our Christmas stuff. Sunday. Okay. I don't know how I used to not carry one of these around all the time. So, um, Max mom's feeling sick, so she texted me that she's gonna bring her Chinese and just eat some of it. So I'm cooking this on my own, but she still said to help her because there's 20 things of HelloFresh in there. So I will be helping her cook this. I'm gonna make these sesame soy beef bowls. Look how freaking good that looks. Luckily for once in my life, I remember to set out the meat. And I moved this to the fridge instead of the freezer. Y'all, I just got a flashback to like when I was, um, cooked slay, there's only four steps. This isn't even a HelloFresh ad, you may think it is, but I'm just making it and we're getting content for Vlogmas. Are you enough to cut anything? But I literally had a flashback to like when I would literally go to Orange Theory, come back, go to the 4.30 Orange Theory class in between night shifts, run back, cook my Hello Fresh while I showered and got ready for work, put it in the oven, make my Hello Fresh meal prep, and then run to work. Like I don't know. I don't know what I was on or how I did that. In the Bring that to a boil and cover in a small bowl. Oh, there's more rice. Shoot. My friends in the neo Gotcha. Ew, mayonnaise looks so gross in a plastic bag. Is that not gonna be freaking hot? Why is all the silverware dirty? The mixture has a drizzling consistency, but like it already is a drizzling consistency. Cook the veggies, heat half the sesame oil. Which poppy should we have? Love you. Love you, send a picture of your pot pie. 
All right, I made a cut for a brand that they wanted to have a cut, and then I filmed a brand integration, then I integrated a brand integration, and now that brand is uploading. Now, let me show you what I made. So, I think Max was for four people, so I made it into three different dishes. And then here's my bowl tonight. We got a thick one, so good. I'm so pumped to eat this. We gotta heat it up because it's been sitting. I wanted to finish up my work first. I need to catch up on people's vlog messes. I've like barely watched any vlog messes. I don't even know if I have. You can save Southern Charm for bed. We gotta catch up on vlog messes now. This sauce is like separating. I'm gonna do my own sauce. I feel like this Trader Joe's soyaki sauce would be very good on it. This one's kind of scaring me. I mean, top notch bowl. I can still make this. I'm gonna write this recipe down. But if I just do rice, carrots, I could even add another vegetable and beef. Like, this is fire. Video's uploading, and let's watch Alicia Marie's. She bought a car. Let's watch her vlogmas. Her vlogmas is always are incredible. Guys, Mac just got, or Miss Melissa got us a new tree skirt. So now we don't have to use the blanket. I feel like matches the stocking. Because imagine like, okay guys, we're talking about Faith, who got third in the batch, Golden Bachelor, posted this of Gary and Teresa, and it goes, Sell. Oh, they're sending them on a honeymoon somewhere. Celebrate good times. They're sending them to Italy. So cute. Really she got so excited. <laughs> Mac went to bed, but Sydney and Kaylee texted about Dancing with the Stars, so I turned it on. And I'm mad I didn't watch this whole episode because it's the finale. And the group dances are fire. They just killed it. I have to watch one here and Riley left. I didn't really watch it that much before, but I should have. I hope they win. How is it midnight? What was I doing that I got so distracted? I don't know. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? But I'm gonna go to bed. I have 10.30 works class, so I can't say I want to get my run in before hot yoga or after. We'll figure that out, but I'm gonna lay in bed and watch Southern Charm. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.